Welcome back, Zero K fans! Shadow Fury 3 with another exhibition match. This time we're going to be watching a match on Red Comet, because it's always in Red Comet. Because everyone seems to love Red Comet. Everyone else seems to love Red Comet. I'm personally not a big fan, but whatever. People play it. That's the map. Anyway, we're going to be watching a match between Randy and Lowry. So let's just begin! Lowry starting out in the Southwest corner of the map hasn't yet chosen his factory. Okay, going for Hovercraft. That's an interesting choice. Well, Randy, on the other hand, is going for light vehicles. Not surprising. I mean, Lowry's Hovercrafts aren't that surprising either, but light vehicles is very typical. A couple darts being set up for scouting. Well, Lowry's setting up a couple scrubbers, which is no surprise. Actually, five scrubbers. Okay, he's going for an early factory snipe, possibly comm snipe as well. Going for half a dozen scrubbers, or at least five scrubbers. A couple of them are moving out already, though. Looks like he just wants to have some for defense, but yeah, you don't go for five scrubbers like that unless you want to deal some serious damage. So Lowry is going for an early raiding strategy, while Randy, on the other hand, going for a bit of raiding, but primarily going to be focusing on economy, getting a couple of... Well, he is getting a couple masons up, he is getting one dart, and the dart has spotted all of these scrubbers. Between the two darts, Randy is well aware that Lowry is going for something aggressive, and Lowry is going for it right now. Only four of his scrubbers are up front, though. This one in the back, kind of straggling a bit. But more are forthcoming. Lowry is being very aggressive this game. More Scorchers are being set up for Randy right now. He did switch out one of the Masons for a Scorcher, not going for the two Masons, realizing he can't pull that off. And the Scorchers are coming in. They are going to be dealing some serious damage once they get in. Oh, right. That's how it works. They're going to be dealing some serious damage once they get in, and there they go. One Scorch... Well, Scrubber's coming in, and they are going to get rid of this Mason, no problem. More Scorchers coming in to try to deal with them, and more Scorchers forth... 100 Scorchers forthcoming. Randy doing what he always does, the TA style. Building up 100 units instead of going to infinite build queue. And this first Scorcher's going to be up, but not before this Metal Lake goes down, and the factory is going to be probably saved. However, actually, no. Good Micro from Lowry does stop most of the Scrubbers from dying. Still keeping them alive, getting rid of Metal Extractors, can't really get rid of the factory, and the commander is going to come in, and it's going to finish this off. Not even able to get rid of the Metal Extractor, those Scrubbers have to retreat. More Scrubbers, however, are on the way, and continue to come on the way. There are another five Scrubbers coming in here. There are, well, seven, six Scrubbers on the map so far. Seventh will be forthcoming pretty quickly. Trying to get into a better position, and right now, Randy has no army. He has his commander and a couple Scorchers, and that's about it. He does, however, have a radar. He does know what Lowry's doing better than Lowry knows what he's doing. Lowry has radar in his base, but no radar in Randy's base, for obvious reasons. And our that radar going down, giving Lowry a bit of an advantage for information. That being said, Randy still has line of sight on all this. So Lowry is kind of fighting blind here. He did keep Randy from knowing exactly where he's going to go. I mean, Randy at this point... Oops. Randy at this point does not have radar. He only has line of sight, so he can't easily see where the scrubbers are just outside of his base, the scrubbers leave and come back. But he can see where they are when they're in his base, because he has vision of his base, obviously. So I don't see that being too effective. However, more scrubbers will be coming. Lowry's still going for this. Randy has actually ceased expanding to the south right now. He's expanding along the west, like the northwest side of the map, or on the north side of the map along the west. But he's not expanding south along the east side of the map. And that is going to be rectified pretty quickly from the looks of it. Engineer coming to reclaim the scrubbers, and then probably from there expand along to the southeast side of the map, and probably take the south as well. Red Comet usually starts out much less aggressive. A bit of raiding here and there, but usually the players split the map pretty quickly. This is actually kind of surprising how quickly this has gone aggressive, to be honest. I'm kind of surprised. Anyway, Lowry is going to be attacking quite quickly here with... Once again, more scrubbers. What else? But more scrubbers. Actually, no, something else. Maces are coming in. Maces and halberds will be coming in to deal with this. Good idea, too. The scrubbers have outlived their usefulness for the most part. Or, well, not really outlived it. <laughs> that would imply that they are still alive. That's sort of the problem. That they are not alive. Their usefulness has run out on account of, or in a way that's demonstrated by them dying. So, as you can see, not exactly the most useful thing to keep going with. And therefore, Mace coming in, Halberd coming in. Probably going to use Halberd along the north side of the map just to punch through these slashers. Probably support with Mace, but... 
would be a bit surprised if he doesn't go for scalpels at some point to try to get rid of them. Lowry's commander under a bit of attack, not a big deal. Lowry is going for a pure ride cannon commander, while at the same time, Randy is... Randy's going for recon, beam laser e-cell, pretty older style, kind of pre-com switch, but... And the little commander economy switch from 1, 2, 3, 2, I think. He's still going beam laser e-cell despite the recon com chassis. While Lowry going for pure ride cannon, going entirely for power on the ground. And at this point, their economies are pretty much even. Lowry is slightly ahead, but their economies are basically even. This north side is... Okay, Lowry setting up a Lotus to defend against that. That is good. A couple Lotuses defend against any harassment with some nicely placed solar collectors, by the way. These are... This is a nice placement. Prevents the most trivial kinds of drive-by harassment. And there come the Halberd, like I said, to get rid of the Scorcher. Well, okay, the Slasher is getting hit more by the Mace, or hitting the Mace more than anything else. Not hitting the well, Halberd. The Mace is actually taking a lot of damage. It needs to retreat. This Halberd did not manage to do his job, unfortunately. Or rather, the Slashers outwitted it. It is, however, going to try to go in. It is going to try to take the Slasher shots. And that Mace has to go back with the Halberd. Doing what it can. Gonna end up getting killed by the Slasher. It's gonna be able to kill one at most. And that is it. That Slasher didn't really do too much over. And the second Mace is coming in. And these Slashers are out of position. Leaving the Mace with some free pickings. However, it looks like the Slashers are gonna retreat. Gonna regroup. Gonna get back into position. This Mace gonna get rid of a Metal Ice Tractor. Try to get rid of Lotus. Gonna be a bit tough. The Lotus is gonna go down. But not before damaging the Mace quite a lot. And the Slashers once again in position... The Mace needs to move back, and at this point, Lowry switching over to Levelers. Switched out from Scorchers and Slashers, switching over to Levelers. That is going to be of some use. Though I imagine that... Well, okay, Maces are still going to do pretty well. And Halberds are going to be fine against Levelers. These would be much more useful to counter if there was still a lot of Scrubbers, and... Otherwise, I'm not really sure where they'd come in. Against Hovercraft, it's kind of tricky. And Halberds are coming in. The Levelers are going to waste their shots on that. Taking a fair amount of damage. However, this, the Levelers, once the Halberds are not in defense mode, once they start attacking, then the Levelers don't do much good. So Lowry not quite keeping his army together as well as he could be. That's the one thing I'm, not, I'm noticing here is that he's his Halberds are doing a great job of distraction, but the support force of the Mace army is not coming in behind it. That is unfortunate. But it looks like that will probably see me breakfast. However, not before Quill goes down. Bit of a big deal there. And the Maces are now starting to deal with the Levelers. Gonna be able to deal with them without too much issue. The Slashers are being a problem, but the Levelers, not so much. The Maces, however, have to retreat again. And one of the Maces is... Well, one of the Maces up front is about to go down. This Mace over here is taking a lot of damage. Getting rid of one of another Leveler. And yet another Leveler going down. And this Slasher... Actually, a bunch of Slashers trying to get rid of Lowry's Commander... While at the same time, Lotus getting a quill that went out of position. And this Mace going down. Having gotten rid of a lot of Slashers, though. The thing is, a lot of these Levelers and Slashers are going down that don't really have to. Lowry's doing a great job with unit counters. These Maces are doing wonderfully. I'm a little bit surprised. Okay, now we see Ravagers. That's going to be a problem for the Maces. That is what needs to be built. They're going to be able to get rid of the Maces. The Maces do not have the speed, or don't have speed to dodge the Ravagers effectively. And the Ravagers have enough health that it's going to be too difficult for the... Mace has to get rid of them efficiently. And here we see that's exactly what's happening here. The Mace can dodge somewhat, but that Ravager... Actually, no. Not enough Ravagers in position. That Mace able to dodge a single Ravager without any issue. That wasn't a problem whatsoever. He's watching. Anyway. Randy getting up a... Well, pretty large Ravager army. That is going to be... That's going to be problematic for Lowry to deal with right now. He doesn't... He has mostly maces. No scalpels. No... Oh. Claymore. That's a new one. Not... I don't know if it's that useful in this particular matchup. I don't know if it's useful against ground units. But yeah, it's a new... No, it's purely useful against underwater units. The depth charge to deal with amphibious units and underwater units. Not particularly useful on ground. On pure land map. However, there are quite a few... There are a lot of maces here. I mean, they aren't effective against Ravagers particularly, but... You know, in numbers, it might just work regardless. However, the Maces are coming in to get rid of the Slashers, and that will be a bit of a big deal. Where is that slash? Okay, those Slashers are doomed. The Ravagers, however, coming in to help out, and not a bad Stinger position, but even then, the Ravagers not grouped up enough to help out. The Maces able to just 
sneak by and more more and more slashes being called in to try to help out but even then Lowry taking the south side of the map at the same time getting a few scrubbers just to harass and the maces working as a pretty good distraction force while these scrubbers harass these scrubbers are not harassing why are these scrubbers not harassing Lowry needs to harass with those scrubbers he is not doing so and his, his mace is taking a fair amount of damage they are getting rid of more and more slashes the slashes have to pull back but the thing is, all these units are dying kind of inside Randy's territory, or at least close enough that Randy can grab them. Though these ones here, actually, you know what? No! These maces have these maces have free reign, they can go in, they can harass pretty effectively, and it looks like Louder's gonna do just that. However, on the north side, he has to worry about quite a few Ravagers coming in, harassing a decent amount. He is able to get rid of some of the Ravagers pretty well, but still has to worry about that. While the maces that are coming in the main base have a much easier time getting rid of these Ravagers, and up comes an aircraft plant. And with that, a bunch of shadows. The shadows are going straight for straight for the slashers. Getting rid of the slashers pretty much looks like one at a time. Getting rid of the lotuses as well, just trying to break the center. And unfortunately, at the same time as the maces getting themselves killed in the center of the map to the ravagers. Sorry, the center of the map, the center east side of the map. To those ravagers. More ravagers at the west side of the map, or northwest side. Dealing with everything Lowry had. Lowry trying to do what he can to defend, but those ravagers got past. That's the Trey was quite worried about these scorchers, sorry, these scalpels, not, they could have harassed a while ago. I'm surprised he didn't harass with that before, like, sync up the harassment. Randy upgrading his commander, and at this point, Loudy still has his commander up, has not been upgraded beyond level 1. Shadow's trying to do what they can to break the center of the map, but... Okay, the Ravagers, <laughs> damn it, how did I miss that? The Ravagers on the west side of the map getting destroyed by the maces before they can deal too much damage. More maces coming up, and I guess in large enough numbers, they are doing just fine. Now, the Shadows, on the other hand, I'm not sure if he's going to plan to go for Randy's commander anytime soon. At this point, the better targets would be all these metal extractors and the workers around the map that are reclaiming. Those would be the big targets. And Raptors coming along the south side of the map, that's... Well, and also being torn apart in the northwest, but the south side, the better story for the Raptors, getting rid of some radar. This Raptor, however, is stuck on a wreck. That is unfortunate. Raptor's stuck on the wreck. The other one's going to get killed by a shadow. So, fortunately for it, not too much damage done. Got rid of a Lotus and not much else. Radar, Lotus, that's it. And more maces coming on the north side of the map. I'm pretty sure Randy's got to have vision of this. Yes, he has radar coverage of this area. He can see what's going on. And the maces are in a really good position. Actually, the Scorchers, not sure why Scorchers, because the maces count on them pretty directly. I mean, maces are meant as riot units. They're going to get rid of the Scorchers before any... No, actually, enough damage is being dealt to justify the Scorchers. Well, not quite enough damage. Decent amount of damage is being dealt. Good support on the Ravager, but not a good sink there. Those Ravagers... Just really not enough numbers. Not sure why you focus on Scorchers when there are that many Maces in the field. Lowry has been going entirely for Maces. He does have Crashers, though. That's good. Gonna be able to get rid of these Shadows. And actually has gotten rid of a couple so far. And another one's about to go down. The Maces coming in the north while the Shadow's about to die to these Crashers. Down it goes... Damaging the stinger slightly, but at the same time, the maces are dealing the real damage. Lowry looks like he's going to probably... Is he going to try to break through the Ravagers? I think he's going to he's gonna go for it. Not for an attack, it's going to be really risky. Their better option probably to go around the back. Because these Ravagers are just coming up straight out of the factory. And every two seconds, there's another Ravager pumped out of the factory. That's how much economy Randy... I mean, Randy actually has much lower economy than Lowry at this point, And still, that's what's happening. At the same time, though, a bunch of maces are coming out and... Reinforcements are in place, but still, defenders advantage for Randy and Lowry. He can go directly to the factory at this point, however. He has managed to get through everything that's been built so far. Leveler being built up, not going to help out too much. Gets rid of a mace, though, not bad. But a couple of characters go down. More metal extractors going down. I think Randy's going to throw in the towel. This is going to be about it. The maces are starting to get rid of the factory, and that factory, 25% health, 20, 10, none. No health left. That factory is down. And Randy pretty much has lost the game at this point. His commander, not really doing too much. I mean, it's got repair system and armor, but that's about it. These maces, it doesn't have nanolite or anything, so it's going to be a bit hard for it to quickly build another factory. Caretaker is being built around the map for Randy, but at this point, Lowry has him surrounded, has him out econ, and has a light vehicle plant just in case, too. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. He has everything he needs. He has all this hovercraft. He has a bunch of maces. The mace is just winning him the game, basically. So, good thing to note. When hovercrafts are used, maces are actually fairly useful. 
Pro tip! As we've discovered right now. But yeah, maces are anti... They're riot units, they're anti-raider units. They can work well, decent against ravagers, but enough ravagers would have probably done it. I think for numbers, like the ravagers would have probably done the trick. It's just that he didn't have the numbers. That was kind of the problem. But yeah, because the thing is with ravagers, I mean, they are pretty tough. They have a slow-moving projectile, but maces don't move that quickly. So in large numbers, the ravagers just overwhelm them. And maces, because they deal continuous damage, they can't easily just fire and dodge out of the way. Randy's commander coming in over, trying to get rid of these guys. Concussion shot on top of shield and everything else we saw, but still, these maces, while they are going down, and Randy is getting a hovercraft factory of his own, just because why not? At this point, it really doesn't matter. Slasher's coming in just because, I guess. And more shadows as well. So I'm guessing a comp snipe is forthcoming. While mazes go to the center of the map to get rid of all the crashers. And some of the move back. I mean, Randy is well aware, I'm sure, that a comp snipe is forthcoming. I don't think it's going to matter, though. The shadows aren't even necessary. The mazes are going to be enough. That's going to come in here, and that's going to get rid of this commander. And that's going to be probably it. Randy, I think, is going to throw in the towel if he loses his commander at this point. He has the Hovercraft Factory. Not even done. The Slashers were moving. Slashers have been moved in to get rid of it, or getting moved in to get rid of it, as the Maces as well are. And down goes the Commander. And that is game. Randy throws in the towel, and everything of his explodes. So that was definitely a faster game than the last one. We'll be back with another one in just a couple minutes. So stay tuned.